Hi, today we want to do a video for you on the um, do's and the don'ts of owning axolotls. Kind of give you a play-by-play -play of the mistakes we've made and what we've learned from our mistakes. Um, so I'd like to get right into it and give the backstory of how we became axolotl owners. Uh, last July, we decided to get uh, axolotls for his birthday. So the problem is, is that he uh, his bedroom is on the second level of our brick home, uh, so it gets very warm up there in July. Uh, so immediately we had to remove them. We had to put them downstairs into our dining room, which is the room that gets minimal sunlight in our home. So we had to do that uh, pretty much within a day or two of getting them, uh, which we weren't planning because we were planning on using them for his bedroom for uh, doubling as a nightlight. So there is the first thing we did. Uh, also, the second thing we did was the substrate. We put gravel in there that was too small. So the axolotls were eating the gravel and spitting it out. And the first couple days it was, you know, fun to watch. But then we realized that that could hurt them. They could eat those, uh, uh, those gravel pieces and they could get lodged in their bellies and uh, potentially be fatal. So we had to take it, all the substrate out of the aquariums. And, uh, and then we just put a few larger rocks in there, uh, which is what we have now, a couple caves and a couple large rocks. Um, so, uh, so also, you don't want to put them in too much sunlight. You don't want to put them in a window where there's going to be light uh, that's going to be warming up the water. The actual is like water that's going to be in the mid-60 degree range, yeah. so you don't want them to get too warm. Uh, can be my turn now? Yeah. Okay. Here's some do's and don'ts. Well, sometimes do not put them in sunlight. Never. If you put them in sunlight, do some. They're not gonna live. They're only gonna be when you wake up. Gone. And. Then you got to throw in your garbage, get on next day, up in heaven. But not, when you're up in heaven, you're going to see them. But on, when you go up in heaven, you're not, you're going to have to put them because you can put in heaven. You live in heaven. You can snuggle with them and you just going to snuggle with them. You? Well, it's hard to keep them alive when you put them inside. It's hard. But if you want to put them in sunlight, you got, you're getting lost. Dude. If that one you want, you need sunlight. You're not going to know if you're going to die or not. Well, the well, mic. Mm hmm. Okay, you want me to take it over? Okay. Another thing you want to do is do more research than what we did. You know, what we did was kind of an impulse buy. Uh, we just wanted a birthday present, so we went and got it, but uh, not a good idea. I recommend joining some discussion forums, reading the research that scientists have already done. Um, there's lots of good websites that you can visit uh, on this topic. On my turn. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now I'm going to fish in my head. Now I'll go through. So you put it in the sunlight. You're going to get in heaven, but when they're gone, well, you're going to have them when they're up in heaven because you're going to be on here on your shoulder. But if you put them on the sunlight and really long, they might suffer or not live. They might suffer, that's right. On the, on their first birthday, we might get you present, but we don't know if you're my dying friend or your stranger. But it's hard to tell that we can't see you. That's right. So, another thing I'm, you don't. I'm still doing. So here's some do and don'ts. 
No making noise. Noise. Prostrators. And. Yes. That makes them run. I know them look with tadpoles. Because you may go their legs. If you want one, go here. Wait. It's a pet store. Well, right now this is a pet store right now. Because we still have them. Because they just looks like a pet store because we got creatures, fish, but not birds. So, bring your kids and you can buy, bring my toy, sell your, buy my toys because I got too much. Well, he does have too many toys. Another thing you want to do is choose the right foods. You want, axolotls like to eat, they like live red worms, they like frozen brine shrimp, they like um, frozen blood worms, and also we feed them shrimp pellets. So one of the tools we use more than anything else uh, for cleaning and for feeding are turkey basters. Uh, something to consider is to get more than one. You don't want to be feeding the animals with the same uh, baster that you're cleaning up the waste. I'm getting it is turkey baster suck up poop. This is gonna be easy peasy, but not that easy peasy. So that's something to consider. If you are gonna be using that tool, which we use them uh, more than anything else, make sure to get more than one so that way you're not uh, feeding them, <laughs> feeding them with dirty, uh, dirty tools. Yeah. Another thing you want to avoid is putting other animals in the aquarium. Uh, other, uh, other fish or other animals uh, could nibble on the gills. Uh, the animal's gills are on the exterior, they're feathered out, and, uh, and lots of times other fish will uh, nibble on those gills and then they'll suffocate and die. Uh, and originally we did put a pleco in there with them. And we had no uh, no problems at all. The pleco was in there for a good nine months before we removed them. But um, after doing all the research, we you know it, it's frowned upon, so we took them out of there. Uh, so, anyways, another thing you want to avoid is overhandling the axolotls. You don't want to be picking them up or playing with them. Uh, if you need to move them to move some of the housings in the aquarium around, that's fine. Or plants, uh, hand feeding the axolotls is fine. Uh, if you want to. Uh, hand feed them a worm that's absolutely fine but I wouldn't actually you know handle them more than more than necessary also when setting up your aquarium you want to take lighting into consideration it's best to use LED lights because they don't put out any heat uh, also I like the LEDs with the sunlight and the moonlight setting um, we keep our, our aquariums on the moonlight setting more often than not. But a nice thing about the LEDs is that they don't put out any heat, so you're not going to keep that water temperature. Again, axolotls like water temperature in the mid-60s. And uh, if you use a light, uh, like a UV light that's going to heat up the water, it may get too hot for the axolotls. You should avoid putting axolotls in an aquarium that's less than 10 gallons per animal. Um, so if you're going to use a 10 gallon aquarium, I would recommend putting one axolotl in there. A 20 gallon would be fine for two, 30 gallon, three, uh, and so on and so forth. We don't want to create a crowded environment for them. You want to give them enough room to do their natural thing. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Anything else? You're best. You're the best. Isn't that nice? I think so. Okay, also, don't put a male and a female together if you don't want them to have babies. We learned the hard way. We had no idea that we had a male and a female until we came home and, um, and she was laying eggs all over her plant that she had in her aquarium. And uh, so now we have about, well, several hundred baby axolotls that we're taking care of. So uh, something to consider is if you're going to put two together, you may want to make sure one's a male and a female and once they are at an age where you can tell the difference um, if you don't want babies you want to put them in separate aquariums 
So we'd like to thank you for watching, and if you are considering getting an axolotl for your home, uh, they are a very fun animal to have, and they are interesting, and they're cool. Right? Anything else? Uh, sometimes you you got to be careful with them. Right? Right. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. And thank you for always watching it. Okay.